just reflect on your journey, um, you know, what you've been through and just getting to this point and, you know, being healthy and all the things that yeah. have gone through this journey. Um, you know, the, I, I guess my journey, it started in November, but, um, you know, the, the process of getting there began a long time before that. And, um, you know, wasn't healthy, wasn't, uh, wasn't doing the right things for myself and, and wasn't, I guess, treating a lot of things that were, were left unchecked by, uh, myself, my, my group around me for a long period of time. And, um, you know, once I started to identify those things, the, I guess the, the surprise, the sobriety part of it was, was the easy part. Um, you know, it, it's, it's about having conversations now and, and letting go of some things that have, you know, hindered me for a very, very long period of time that, uh, uh, I think I just kind of put away and tried to, you know, to, to get away from, um, with alcohol, with avoidance, with whatever it might've been. And, uh, you know, th since November, I've, I've gotten a handle on that. And now I'm trying to do, um, the other things within recovery that are, are keeping me on the same path and, uh, things are going very well. Um, you know, I have tough days, but, uh, those tough days, you know, uh, are, are less and less, I guess would be the way to put it. Uh, I, I feel like I'm in a much better place than I've ever been in my life. And that, uh, you know, that only goes into only comes with doing the work and, uh, I've been doing that and feel good. And I guess to answer your second part, uh, briefly, I think, you know, you try to plan, it, it, it's tough. It's you, at 33, you try to plan out how you can go about, um, you know, getting your body in peak condition, but then you kind of got to back off the throttle because you don't want to peak too early. You don't want to get ahead of things. And, uh, um, you know, I think like any player can tell you that isn't going back to, to play right now. You, you're just kind of trying to uh, find what works best for a week and then go from there. And, and you know, you put your program in place but you, when you have to extend it for eight months uh, to nine, it, it becomes challenging. So uh, just trying to keep things fresh and, and doing different things than I've done in, in years past. And uh, uh, I'll start skating here probably next week and, and uh, that'll give me a lot of time on the ice that, that I normally wouldn't have had going into a season. So uh, it might be a benefit for me. In regard to doubt, I, I had doubt every day, um, you know, especially walking away. I had doubts before I left that I could still do it and, uh, you know, self-inflicting it and, and making it harder for me to, to compete at the level I was doing, um, you know, I consistently found ways to make the road harder and, um, you know, going to where I went and taking some time away from the game. Uh, you know, I was in Sunday, California, watching games on the NHL network and streaming them on the iPad and thinking, I can't believe the pace these guys are playing at right now while I'm sitting here, um, you know, getting treatment, doing things that I'm, you know, are so far outside the realm of being in a hockey related environment. Uh, I, I had doubts every day. So, you know, my, my greatest support system was my wife and uh, um, being back in Ottawa and, and then coming to see me and visiting me and kind of reassure, reaffirming that I could still do it. Um, and part of, part of it was that, did I, did I want to still do it? Cause I, I felt like I had taken it for granted for so long that uh, it was, it was selfish of me to try. Um, so she was, she was great for me in that sense and, and keeping me, um, I guess uplifted or, or positive about, about coming back and, and, you know, getting back into game shape, getting back into the NHL. Thanks, David. Next question is from Sean Shapiro of the athletic. Go ahead, Sean. Hey, Steven and Bobby. Um, for, for both of you, can you kind of take us through what some of the conversations have been like after you've shared your stories? And I know both of you kind of shared and have talked about how it could be something to, to share a story to help some others. Can you kind of take us through what some of the conversations have been like now that once your stories were more public? Yeah, I, I would say the most, uh, I guess, rewarding part of this is that, you know, I've, I've had more candid conversations with uh, people in the past eight months than I've had in, in the previous 30, 33 years. It's been, uh, it, it's been incredible to not only uh, you know, to echo him again, some, some of the guys, some people have reached out through social media and, and, um, people have reached out on behalf of somebody that's struggling. And, um, it's been rewarding to reach out to those people and, and, and have conversations and, and some, you know, some that probably don't need 
help with alcoholism or whatever that that individual might have problems with they just need uh to have the right conversations and, and i've had conversations with people i've never met probably still won't meet but uh i still text with some of them and i and i've gotten some people to you know to look at treatments and, and look at different options and uh something i wasn't expecting to do um i was really just trying to to help myself and and learn how to do it and now that i get to pay it forward it's been incredibly rewarding and uh and i hope people continue to feel that way um because you know, I, I still have terrible days where, where it feels like all I want to do is be consumed by some things. And that, uh, those seem to be the days that I go through those messages and reach out to those people again and, uh, and reaffirm it. And uh, like I said, it's just been an incredible process. Were you ever concerned about, you know, being so public about this? Was, was that something that you sort of rolled over in your mind and, and thought about, is this the right path? Is this not the right path for, for me to, to share the story in this way? Yeah, um, I, I didn't want to share the story at all, if I'm being completely honest. I, in a perfect world, I, I would have gone at the end of the hockey season, um, you know, done it quietly and, and, you know, the team would have known and I would have known and I would have gotten the help I needed. But, uh, you know, I've learned you can't control those things. I, I hit my breaking point uh, on the ice in Detroit and just said, I can't, I can't not go right now. If I don't go, I'm not going to go. And, and um I'm glad I did it because I kind of had, I had thought about it for a week leading up to that. And I thought I need to do this. You know, I, I avoided that as, as long as I could. And then finally, I, I think every, everybody gets to a point where they just can't anymore. And that was my breaking point. And, um, you know, I wish I would have done it sooner. I wish I would have, um, you know, been younger when I realized I needed the help, but uh, I didn't think that it would be this, this rewarding for it to have been public and i'm and now i'm grateful that i've done that because it's it's not only helped me it's you know it help, it keeps me accountable every day but it, it helps me uh you know pay that forward and and uh, not to teach but to to point people in the right directions for their own recovery uh being from philly um i've always kept an eye on the flyer so i was you know i was happy to see that not only did he get to ring the bell um and beat it, but the team was able to use it as a source of inspiration and rally around him. And, and I'm sure that helped him um, immensely in his recovery. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll be tuning in every game. I hope he, I hope he gets to see the ice in the playoffs. And, uh, uh, you know, he's got a fan of me. When you came back, particularly Bobby, it took you, what, two games for a hat trick? And Steven, I think your third game, you scored a goal. Just like, how much did it mean for you guys to that much, that quick to have – I guess, you know, come back and have success right away after going through what you went through. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, my expectations were to just to, to play and contribute and, um, and you know, play to um, what I felt was capable of after being off for three and a half, whatever, give or take, whatever it was, um, you know, to, to – have a hat trick in our first game at home um with my wife in the stands and and uh my little ones watching at home it uh i mean you you can't write that you, you, there's no way to prepare for that um i there was an element of surprise for me but uh you know i don't want to say it was validating because it <laughs> you know unlike steven and, and oscar mine was completely self-inflicted and um, um instead of validation, I was looking just to, just to prove it. Like I was a 20 year old kid again, stepping into the league. I felt like that's, you know, the rest of the year was going to be my training camp and a chance for me to, I wasn't expecting it, but uh, it was, you know, it was just an incredible night. And uh, the fact that I got to do it at home with my wife watching meant everything to me.